Beloved friends let us start today by inviting you to turn further inward. To intentionally open your heart by placing your attention there. Attention remember amplifies. It also opens. Then with your attention on your heart gradually allow that focus of your awareness to extend so that you become aware gradually of the field of light that you are, present here. As your awareness is expanding and encompassing the field you are, feel your way into this energy field, this human energy system that is your life. How does it feel to you? What do you notice? Can you sense the rate of vibration in your field? The movement of the very energy that is you. As you imagine and feel this, using your psychic capacities to notice and perceive whatever you notice and perceive, what if you just turn it up right here right now? What if you just turn up the rate of vibration? What if you turned up the frequency of your energy? Do that now and raise it at whatever rate you feel comfortable to. Whatever speed appeals to you is a new state of being. Take a moment now and intentionally accelerate the vibration of your energy just as if you were turning a dial and tuning upward your frequency because it is truly that easy. Play with this a little bit. Like directing the body field to speed up. As you do this notice the emotional changes. Notice the way your mood changes a little bit or a lot depending on where you begin and where you go. Dare to turn your frequency up even higher than you really want to just to see what it feels like and then choose and settle into a frequency that is higher than you began that feels good for right now. As you do this we invite you to enjoy realizing how much control you have over your own state of being. We want to point out one very clear and obvious thing for you to take in. Your body changes your mind. As you change the energy of your field you change the energy of your body and your body in turn changed your mind and all of this changed your mood or your state of being which is perceived in your mind. Over time if you stayed in this upward pitched energy you would become more accustomed to this higher state of being. It would become more familiar and as we spoke of yesterday familiarity is important because human beings are inclined to find more attractive and to move towards and to stay with that which feels familiar and comfortable. So becoming more familiar with an uplifted state of being will help you to go into an uplifted state of being and stay there more often and longer. If you were to do this, which we would suggest you do for two minutes, all kinds of hormones would be released in your body and chemical changes would take place. This would help you to cultivate your mood and your state of being. It's like you could get up in the morning and just turn your frequency up if it's not already up and if it's already up you can turn it up higher and find intentionally the way you want to feel. Pretty nice isn't it? These are simple little things you could do for two minutes once or twice a day that would really help you to feel better. If you care about yourself, you will let life be easier, and so we are suggesting this as a way you might do that. Caring about yourself is an essential aspect of awakening and it is through caring about yourself that you create your presence in a way that really works for you. It is that attunement to your own well-being which helps you to have the capacity as well as the feel-good courage to be who you truly are. It's important that you let yourself feel good. In feeling good you let more of you come forth and more of you coming forth is integrating more light into form which is the whole method of becoming the new human and it's the reason that we are here. New human there are so many ways that the world and your bodies are changing and so many people have spoken of the awakening of dormant DNA within your body and the fact that the light is opening up these dormant structures and opening them to activate a fuller expression of you. You have also heard that thoughts are things and that negative thoughts create congestion and eventually lead to illness or disease. You are well aware of how light can change things and how your thoughts can change things. What we want to point out today is that it works in reverse too. That you change the quality and the nature of light and that your body for example can actually change your thoughts. What does all of this mean? It means that you can begin anywhere. You can begin anywhere and open up more of your life to light and love, to feeling good while doing so. It means you are affecting the non-physical. We know that you know this but we don't think you really fully see the deepest implications of all of this, the truth of your being, your Godhead. You are affecting all of us in the non-physical family of light. You are uplifting us, inspiring us. 
you are helping us expand and open more fully to our own light and expression. We are dancing together in powerful ways and it's important for you to know that we are paying attention to you and you are paying attention to us and this is amplifying and expanding everything. We are choosing, we are choosing to pay attention to you. We're not paying attention to you because someone told us to. We're not paying attention to you because it's our job. We're paying attention to you because we want to. We're not paying attention to you because you need our help. We're not paying attention to you because you are weak and we are here to be strong and to protect you and make sure you're okay. This is all very important. We're paying attention to you because we're fascinated by your experience. We're fascinated by what you are doing and being and becoming and creating in the material. We're playing our part in the material being changed by you and we're fascinated by all of this and impressed and inspired. You are well aware in your world of how paying attention to the outer world, the material, can be beneficial or not. Remember that if you are paying attention in ways that your perspective is in alignment with all that you are then you feel good. If you are paying attention to things with a perspective that is not in alignment with the fullness of your being you feel less good or even awful. Feelings remember in your realm of focus are indicators of alignment. You are aware also that paying attention to things amplifies them. We want you to see how amplified we are by you paying attention to us and how amplified you are by us paying attention to you and together we are all enlarging and expanding our creative influence and our potential and we're focused together on very particular topics. On very particular qualities of energy and those are the qualities of energy we are inspired in a shared way. We have a shared interest in these qualities of energy and so we are enlarging and expanding them. As we do we are also enlarging and expanding our creative influence and our potential. When I say our I mean all of us physical and non-physical. It works both ways. In this realm of focus in which you are playing it is so absolutely important for you to feel powerful and confident in order to express yourself as the new human. We want to speak very pointedly about this today and to ask you to consider your relationship to yourself. We invite you to know really that you are God. You are divine beings descended into a realm of physical focus with the aspiration of the joy of it. You came here knowing your presence would transform this realm through your remembering and your awareness. You are divine. You are immensely creative and powerful and it is important that you fully claim this. The awareness of this is available to you and we are stressing it today and showing you the way that things work on so many levels because you have to claim this to live it. We have been talking quite a lot about the fact that there are realizations for many of you which are now being integrated in ways that are approaching knowledge, approaching the capacity to live in an integrated fashion from what you have heard, resonated with, recognized as truth and understood. The first step of all of this is really to claim this. I am a God. I am a divine being. I am as good as it gets. I am as good as it gets. I am as good as any being there is physical or non-physical. Does it surprise you that we say this? We have to say this for it is not only so but in an essential aspect of realizing your awakening. Another component that we want to point out with regards to claiming your awakening, the earth realm is not less than the non-physical. Dying and coming into the fullness of your being once again is not preferable to being where you are now. It is definitely not preferable to being where you are now when you've accomplished your remembering. It is just an ending of the game. That's all. When you're playing a really good game and you cannot quite figure out what the solution is or how to win in whatever way that is defined, or if you're creating something you've envisioned and you've almost got it what's the most fulfilling thing? To get it, to win it, to discover it. When you were young and you were playing a really fun game the last thing you wanted was for your mother to call you in the house to eat dinner. You wanted to finish the game and to have many moments where you discover your own capacity to win. Living this way is the way to feel your life in a fulfilling way. It is the capacity to do well on earth, to be skillful in living as human beings, to have beautiful lives and relationships, to have beautiful experiences and ways to express yourself.
to have abundance and physical vitality and hope and love and laughter and sharing. To define success on your own terms and winning on your own terms and then to achieve it and then to expand it and then to achieve it again and then to expand it and then to achieve it again and then to expand it. This is the point of it all and in having this and being this radiantly happy then it all comes together and by this we mean you the non-physical you and the physical, it all comes together. This is how you realize the awakening, you're experiencing. It's realized through and in this vehicle of your human life. It's simply up to you to claim it, your Godhead, your divine nature. To realize deities are not separate from or better than you. They are not more knowledgeable. They are not more capable. They are just aspects of the one just as you are. In this particular moment you are presently aware of any deities you know of as they are present in another realm. That's it. That's all. And it's time beloved friends to demystify all of this quite explicitly so you can claim your true nature and do your thing here. So consider your Godhead today and truly sit with this. Truly sit with this. One way to open this up more fully is to consider who do you think is better than you? Who do you think is more accomplished than you? Who do you think is more successful than you? Who do you think you need help from? Who do you think you are dependent upon? We dare you to stare that down until it shatters into clarity. Then we encourage you to claim this Godhead fully and entirely. To embrace it so passionately, so entirely that you allow it to emerge as it really is, as the core of your being. And in this expanding inner knowing, all that is at odds with this will shatter and dissolve. Claiming this will shake out and spin off all the distortions of any kind of worship of others physical and non-physical. It will liberate you from any way in which you make yourself less than, wrong or not enough. As this happens in layer upon layer what you are left being and what you are left with is the shimmering light of love that we already know as you. I am Archangel Michael.